This primate has the best beard game on YouTube. Meet the Emperor Tamron, an adorable New World monkey native to South America. And yeah, you heard me right, their name is Emperor Tamron, as they're named after the German Emperor Willem II because of the resemblance of their white moustache with the Emperor's. These cheeky little guys are tiny at only 16 inches tall and weighing in at around 1 kilogram. And if you think their facial hair is their most striking feature, check out their crazy red tails. Emperor Tamarins are New World Monkeys, but what does that actually mean? Well, monkeys are generally classified into two categories, New World and Old World. It's believed that all monkeys originated from Africa and Asia, but then eventually some migrated towards the Americas. Those who migrated are New World Monkeys, and those who didn't are Old World Monkeys. Since the Emperor Tamarin is a New World Monkey, it's primarily found in lowland tropical rainforests throughout South America. In particular, they can be spotted in Brazil, Bolivia, Peru, and the southwestern Amazon basin. Interestingly, this moustached monkey is not the only type of Emperor Tamarin out there. There are actually two subspecies of Emperor Tamarin. The bearded Emperor Tamarin, which sports the iconic white facial hair, and the black-chinned Emperor Tamarin, which unfortunately can't grow a beard, but is still equally as adorable. You could probably tell by now that this monkey has an absolute mismatch of features. It has a tiny body, super long claws, and a prehensile tail. Wait, what does prehensile mean? Well, it essentially means that the tail can be used to grasp objects, kind of like an extra hand. The Emperor Tamron also rocks a slick grey coat with golden yellow fur mixed in. Additionally, this creature has black hands and feet and a striking red tail, but nothing stands out more than their gorgeous curly white moustache. Emperor Tamarins are diurnal, meaning they are active during the day. They spend most of their time high up in trees avoiding predators like snakes and birds of prey. But what does the Emperor Tamarin actually eat? Well, Emperor Tamarins are omnivores. They eat a range of things from lizards to tree sap. But there's one thing in particular the Emperor Tamarin truly loves, and that is fruit. In fact, some females display trichromacy, which is the ability to recognize three colors as opposed to the rest of the members of the species that can only see two, which allows them to easily find ripe and delicious fruit. Emperor Tamarins are also highly sociable. They are generally found in groups of around 20 monkeys and are led by a female elder. These monkeys take parenting very seriously, as the collective group will take responsibility for raising the young. Males generally focus on grooming and transportation, while females are in charge of cleaning and organizing food for their babies. These monkeys will commonly communicate through a series of calls and vocalizations. These include cries, which help them recognize friends, foes, and interlopers. They can also emit hisses, trills, and long chirps to display threats or dominance. Similar to other primates, they can also communicate with varied facial expressions. All in all, this is one incredibly smart monkey. I hope you've enjoyed learning about Emperor Tamarins, but now let's switch over and focus on something a little bit more serious. Emperor Tamarins tend to live up to 20 years in the wild, but unfortunately, excessive deforestation in the Amazon coupled with violent bushfires, all of which are a result of human interference, has resulted in a sharp decline in the Emperor Tamron population. These creatures are not just adorable, but also play a huge part in maintaining various ecosystems in South America. And if they disappear, it could threaten the livelihood of so many other animals and plants within that ecosystem. Please share this video to help spread awareness about the Emperor Tamron and the terrifying threats they are facing due to deforestation and a lack of conservation efforts in the Amazon. If we all work together, we can help ensure that this adorable and amazing animal has a future. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed learning about the Emperor Tamarin and let us know in the comments below what animal you'd like us to cover next. And while you're down there, please subscribe to the channel, drop us a like, and hit the notification bell. And remember, a percentage of our proceeds are donated towards animal conservation efforts. So just by watching our videos, you'd literally be helping animals all over the world. So if you enjoyed this video, 
check out some of our other ones too, like this one about the world's most dangerous bird, or check out this video about the king of the ocean. Thanks for supporting the Earth though, and as always, we hope your day is as awesome as you are.